Within weeks of the Supreme Court striking down Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act, several states moved forward with new restrictions. This is not just a social crisis, this is a moral crisis. Multiple thousands do not have water. Tensions rising in Ferguson, Missouri. We understand the anger, we understand that we've got a problem. They have popped fresh rounds of tear gas. Here comes the rubber bullets. I'm Samuel L. Jackson. Few organizations can claim to have fundamentally changed America. LDF can. Look around the room tonight. You look great. But this room didn't just happen by chance. The NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund began with the dream and hard work of young visionary lawyers. They imagined an America that did not yet exist. They believed that they could use the rule of law to force America to confront and honor the promises enshrined in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. On May 17, 1954, the Supreme Court unanimously ruled that separate but equal public schools for blacks and whites were unconstitutional. This series of cases, collectively known as Brown versus the Board of Education, changed the course of American history by challenging segregation in all aspects of society. The legal team, led by Thurgood Marshall, argued the case that one federal judge called the most important governmental act of any kind since the Emancipation Proclamation. What do you think your world would look like without LDF? What would the room you're sitting in look like? Your job, your school, your neighborhood. Who would be there? When tough racial issues break out, LDF is there, raising questions that no one else raises. This is a critical time for civil rights in America precisely because we have two realities happening at the same time. We have a society in which visually we can see success. We can see African Americans who are captains of industry, who are running Fortune 500 companies. But at precisely the same time, we see so many places where so many African Americans are still struggling. And it's those two contrasts that make this moment so challenging for us. The success on one hand, and how much we still have to do. Matters of justice and equality are not fought only in the courthouse and in legislative halls. Equal rights are not just high-minded principles and values. They're food on the table, a job, and a place to live. That's why this summer, LDF brought its powerful advocacy to Detroit to fight for thousands of residents who had their water services terminated for unpaid bills. First at five, water shutoffs. People in Detroit are resilient, they're strong, they can take a lot, but I'm telling you, the breaking point is coming. We're not dummies, and we're not village idiots. The whole world is watching, okay? This story isn't over. This issue, um, the most core and basic thing, having access to water. It is a travesty, it's unconscionable. People feel a loss of dignity. Many people are very embarrassed. When you talk to mothers who had to put their children in homes uh, with friends or with an aunt for fear that Child Protective Services would come and remove their, her children from her. How am I supposed to wash my child? How am I supposed to shower myself? How do they take their medicine if they're seniors? How do they make the formula for the babies? We've helped change the narrative around these shutoffs to bring their stories both to the courts, but also to bring their stories to the media. These people are not deadbeats. They are real human beings, Americans, who simply because they are poor cannot be punished by being denied access to a basic human right, water. In 1944, LDF successfully challenged the whites-only Democratic primary in Texas. Since then, LDF has held to the view that voting is the most important exercise of citizenship, especially for those whose voice would not otherwise be heard. Protecting the right to vote has been a fundamental aspect of LDF's work for 70 years. The right is getting increasingly desperate. Since 2010, not long ago, state legislatures have made it harder to vote in these 17 states. This is old poison in new bottles. LDF has always been on the forefront of challenging racial discrimination in voting. People of color in this nation will be a majority of the nation by 2042. In the last several election cycles, we've seen people of color participate in the elections in historic numbers. But we've also seen a number of states, in response to those two developments, make it more difficult for people of color to participate in the political process. Not only in Texas, but in Wisconsin, in North Carolina, 
in Arkansas, in Alabama. In a sweeping ruling, one we've not ever seen before, a federal district court judge found that Texas's photo ID law was enacted with intentional discrimination, the first time ever a ruling of that kind has been issued, that Texas's photo ID measure is an unconstitutional poll tax, and that the measure violates the Voting Rights Act. As new communities of color grow, as our political strength grows, I think it's likely that we're going to see more challenges to try to stem our participation, and LDF is going to be there to meet all of those challenges. Using litigation, advocacy, and strategic communications, LDF leads shaping the debate of race and civil rights and using the skill of its lawyers, policy experts, and organizers to find solutions to our nation's most difficult civil rights challenges. They are using rubber bullets, incredible weaponry, tanks. They have not even practiced using this material in this kind of urban situation, and we have silence coming from the governor of the state of Missouri. The community erupted in spontaneous protests because they've had enough. We really want to see long-term structural changes put into place that will not only address what happened with Mike Brown's killing, but also get at some of those other issues that bred his killing, from substandard schools, um, to the lack of political power, housing segregation, um, to police interactions. The rapid response that was supported by our donors, by our board members, by uh, our community organizers, our attorneys, uh, and all of our supporters is uh, a testament to the great work that LDF does. How to access resources, doing trainings with the young people on uh, police monitoring, finding out what their real needs are. How do we access people with the resources to their needs? create these links. If you're going to do this work, civil rights work, you can't look for glory. Very often the work that you do will not be known by anyone. We're known for being in the courtroom. We're known for being in the United States Supreme Court. But in fact, we go wherever the problem is. And very often much of the work we do is simply empowering our clients to speak their own truth and to advocate on their own behalf. LDF. Defend. Educate. Empowered.